Woohoo! I just had to start out with that. All right, you guys, lots of big things are happening today. I'm driving down the road, but it's all good. I had to make this video. All right, first and foremost, today officially celebrates one full month of no drinking, no smoking, yeah, yeah, and vegan. Um, the last time I had a drink was July 5th. Today is August 5th. I am so fucking proud of myself. That being said, next, you guys, today's just a really good day. I meditated a lot last night. I meditated hardcore this morning. Been working on my company. Oh, yeah, it's also a month since I quit my job. So, um, I quit my job to pursue my own company, and I took a leap of faith. It was so scary. You guys, I have right now, I've been working on the law of attraction hardcore. I have two companies that literally are dream jobs, <laughs> both to live in dream cities. I'm not going to say anything yet because um, I'm letting it play out. I'm, so, you know, my, my goal is to have my company be a success. And so I've told both of these companies that, and they're like, well, maybe we could bring you on as a contractor. And so I've told both of them that, um, that I, uh, I can't commit anything long-term because my official commitment is to my own company. And so now they're like fighting over me, you guys. I'm just like, oh my gosh. And, and I'm not talking about some recruiter. I'm talking about CEOs are reaching out to me and executive directors saying, Danielle, we need to get you on our team. And so I'm just telling the universe, yes, please, more of that. I like this a lot. Thank you, law of attraction. Thank you, universe. Yes, please. I will take that. Um, I'm so in love with my life right now, you guys. I am chilling. I don't know if you can see what I'm wearing, but my outfit is so cute today. I feel like a little beach babe. <laughs> I got my tan going on. I was at Starbucks doing some work and it's crazy because I set a time for myself that I was going to do some work and then I was going to close it up and I was going to leave and I was just going to be there for about two and a half hours to get some reading, getting some material prepared for this interview that I have on Thursday with one of the companies. And literally as I was done preparing for that interview, I was leaving and my phone rang and the CEO from the other company called me and it's like, what, <laughs> what? Like, yeah, I'll be free at this time universe. Make sure they call me then. Like literally I was walking out of my car from the parking lot. So anyway, um, it's just so exciting. And I knew that the drinking and all that partying and stuff, I knew that was a block because I was doing those things to numb myself from really growing and I knew that I had these p p uh, areas that I needed to grow I had these areas to self-reflect and reprogram my mind drinking and partying and wasting time was for sure one of them and it was the hardest one to change you guys it was the hardest one but literally and I was so <laughs> tempted this weekend I had a lot of temptations this weekend some major challenges kind of had some I cried a lot this weekend it was tough but I stayed strong stayed the course kept meditating kept strong and fought through it fought like hell through it and what do you know now Monday things are starting to manifest you guys I have two companies and I'm telling them both yeah I don't know I'm really trying to work on my own company and they're like well it'll help give you some money till your company takes off I'm like hey you know one of them is talking about bringing me out to one of my dream locations you guys oh my gosh um it's so exciting it's so exciting so I just wanted to share that um <sighs> yeah thank you yes please more of that if you um give this video a thumbs up if you're feeling this energy give it a thumbs up you guys because I am pumped <laughs> I can officially say that it is starting to work Oh my gosh, it's so exciting. And you know, for the first time, I can honestly say there isn't anything in my life that I need to work on. Like before I was like, I know I need to not drink so much. I know I need to do this. I know I need to do that. I mean, yeah, there's areas like the other day I made that video where I was kind of mad at my sister, but you guys, I'm working through that. I'm, I'm, I'm doing all of the things that I need to be doing. I'm taking the radical action. I'm putting the, I'm, I'm my, 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 uh, sorry, my dream, my, um, thing that I'm trying to manifest my dream life being the CEO of my own company, being the CEO of a billion dollar company. Um, I'm taking the radical action and I'm, 
I'm pedaling. I was listening to this um thing, this audio book earlier that it was talking about if you um <clears throat> if you want to be like a biker, if you want to be like this uh, uh, Olympian bike bike, gee, sorry, cyclist. I'm so excited. I can't talk. So you start um you start uh, pedaling up the hill. And it's so hard. You pedal uphill and you're like, Ugh, pedaling uphill, pedaling uphill. And it's so hard. Then when you finally get to the top of the hill, what is the best thing about getting to the top of the hill? You can coast. You guys, I feel that I've been pedaling uphill. I have been pedaling uphill. And I am at this part of the hill of my challenge of my life where I'm about to be able to start coasting. Things are going to start coming really easy. I'm going to start manifesting it with hardly any effort because I'm doing all that hard internal work ahead of time. And oh my goodness, I feel it. I feel so excited today. I dressed as if I lived on the beach. I put a picture on Instagram. You can follow my Instagram, Danielle to the max. I'll leave a link in the description below. If I remember, if I forget, just remind me in the comments, but I put a picture of my outfit this morning and I said, um, I'm the CEO who lives on a beach and this is what I wore to work today. And, um, yeah, that couldn't get any realer than that. I was like, what would I wear if I was living on the beach in this beach life and I was going to work? Um, and sometimes I got to get out of the apartment because it gets, um, stuffy. I, not really stuffy, but it just, I get bored. I need to get out. I need to be around other people and I just like getting out. You know what I mean? Get the energy from other people. So I was like, I'm going to go sit at Starbucks and got me a soy milk latte and, um, some almonds and just sat in there and did some reading. And, um, anyway, I just was imagining this was beach life. I'm on the beach right now doing my CEO work and it was just beautiful. I loved it so much. And then, <laughs> yeah, I got another, and it's so great because he had asked me, the CEO has asked me for some information a week ago, but I was strategically not sending it yet because I wanted him to want it a little bit more and I didn't want it to get lost in the shuffle. I wasn't thinking he would ask for it again. I was going to try to give it to him before he asked for it again, but Hey, it's all good. Um, and so, uh, anyway, <laughs> anyway, sorry, I had to make that term. So anyway, I did, um, tell him I would get it to him today. So I'm going to get that done. But, um, what was I saying? I don't know. I'm just happy. You guys, I am so happy. And let me tell you all those videos where they're saying like, you're, they're saying the signs that things are about to happen. Literally things had slowed down. Nothing was happening. I got so much anxiety. I was feeling like I was having anxiety attacks. I was tested. You guys, you're going to be tested before things start happening because, oh, and guess what else happened to me? When I was at Starbucks, I, there was this guy, it was kind of full and there was only one empty table and it was next to this guy that he was wearing this really nice suit and you could just tell he had money. You know how you can just tell it's that energy. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to sit right by him because I want to kind of feed off some of that energy. And so I just sat there and I was listening to him on the phone. I couldn't really hear what he was saying, but you could just tell he had money. Well, then this other guy walks in and this guy looks like he has gobs and gobs of energy. I mean, gobs and gobs of money. He's also wearing a really nice suit. And what do you know? And then there was this guy in the corner that wasn't sitting by them. I mean, none of them were by each other that I was like, they all seem like they have a lot of energy and I could tell they were somehow connected. And what do you know? Um, all, the three people that I noticed, they all went to each other and talked to each other. And then the older gentleman that was in the corner, he goes and gets in the car. I was like, Oh snap. He's like a driver or something. Sure enough. He was a driver. So I look what kind of car they're getting into you. The two other gentlemen that I say younger, the older gentleman was like maybe like 60. And then the two younger gentlemen were like maybe in their forties or fifties. They with the suits on. So they get in the backseat of the car. So that older gentleman was the driver. They were all dressed so slick. I was like, oh my gosh, this is Wichita. I don't, you don't usually see stuff like that in Wichita. And I was like, I'm really liking this energy. And they were talking kind of quiet and I don't know what they were doing. I feel like they were about to do a really important business deal, you guys. And so, um, I was just watching. I wanted to see what kind of car they were in and they got into a Tesla. I was like, oh, and the windows were all extra black. And I was like, oh my gosh, I don't know what I'm manifesting right now, but I feel like I've been, um, I've been really uh, manifesting myself doing some really big business deals, some multi-million dollar, potentially billion dollar business deals. And um, 
like Trinis was saying the other day, if you guys follow him and you see he was at his friend's house that um, he went and I'll put a link to this video as well. He went and um, visited his friend who manifested a $619,000 house and he said he was so happy for it because that meant he was next. So it's like we don't need to be hating or be jealous. We'll just like if we're seeing it around us, we're in the vortex because we're attracting it. And I was like, oh snap, I don't even need to be jealous that they're doing this billion dollar deal because it's in my vortex, you guys. I've never been in a situation where I saw something like it was like something out of Wolf of Wall Street that just happened at Starbucks. Like, can I get in the car with y'all? I am really feeling this energy right now. And so it just made me really excited. I was like, I'm in the vortex. I am in the vortex, you guys. I'm in the vortex. So, um, yeah, things are happening. Anyway, um, please make sure and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Share this. And leave me a comment. Let me know. Are you in the vortex? What are you attracting into your life? If you're attracting something big into your life, say, I am in the vortex. And you're seeing the things that you want. Even if somebody else is getting them, it means you're attracting them to you, you guys. I love you. Thank you so much for watching. Peace and love.